Breaking news. NDA's attack. Scores of bandit killed as adopted major finally gains freedom. Hello, my wonderful people. The most shocking news of the century happened in Nigeria a few weeks back, where the Defense Academy of Nigeria was attacked by these same said bandits. Nigerians were shocked because that is the, one of the one of the places, humanly speaking, in the country you will think is the safest place. I, you know, aside Aso Rock, and Nigerians thought that well, that place should be so safe. Guess what? The bandits came. They saw. They conquered. And they left without resistance whatsoever. And guess what? They did not come operating for 30 minutes. So they spent hours. They ransacked the place. They took majors away. They killed others. And up till today, like spirits, nobody can trace them. And yet Nigerian government will tell us that they are working. And they are working on these insurgents. Recently, they said they've... Uh, Again, uh, evaded one of the barracks, the new equipment that they've gotten, uh, this bandit made away with it. And one is beginning to wonder, are you sure they are not playing this hanking party game that they are deceiving Nigerians? Anyway, my wonderful people, uh, it's happening. The major has, been, has regained freedom, but what really happened? Did Nigerian government finally go to pay ransom to help them buy equipment and uh, more weapons again? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Major C.L. Dangton, who was kidnapped during an attack on the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA in Kaduna, by bandits last month, has finally, finally regained his freedom. Daily Post recalled that some gunmen suspected to be bandits broke into the Nigerian Falmouth Military School on August the 24th killed officers and adopted major cl downtown the adopted major has been in their kidnapped kidnappers den till he was rescued on friday the deputy director army publicity relation one division nigerian army colonel Ezedu, who confirmed the development said downtown was received by the troop According to him, the operation leading to his rescue led to the destruction of several identified bandit camp in Afuko, Gari area of the state, revealing that scores of bandits were killed during the operation, particularly in the last hour of September 17, 2021, he has said. He said the division, in conjunction with the S tax force, Department of State Service and other security agencies immediately swung into action by conducting operation in the Afoko area to find and rescue the officer after a directive of the Chief of Army Staff. So if the Chief of Army Staff not direct, they're not going to go find them. So they know that they've been in Afoko and everybody has been quiet. They know that that Afoko is a kidnapping den. Was it the only one that was kidnapped there or there were other people? Because they, they tell us to read so. Don't forget that Apolline Media, we reported to you a few weeks back that some of his friends and family were secretly putting uh, what we call ransom together. Don't forget. Just bear that at the front of your mind. Let's continue. The troop arrived at the camp suspected to be the location where Major C.L. Danton was being held. At the camp, the troop, the troop exchanged fires with the bandits and overwhelmed them with superior fires. In the process, the garrison troop were able to secure the adopted officer. However, the officer sustained a minor injury but has been treated in a medical facility and handed over to the DNA for further action. He said he lauded the efforts of the NDF, DSS, Nigerian police and patriotic Nigerians who worked tirelessly to the re for the release of the victim from bandits. So that's what I'm asking. I appreciate the fact that he has been released. Thank God. The family will be happy. It's a good time to be alive. And we are sincerely grateful to God for your release. However, sir, we want to tell you that this news does not look very authentic. So in their whole kidnapping den, you are the only one there. Nigerian army came. They saw you. They rescued you. And they left. And you only had a minor. You know Nigeria, they can cook up stories. They can cook up stories like, like night and day. You are seeing day, they are telling you is night, and you are wondering, um, maybe I'm the one that is wrong. They so convince you that you become confused. You don't understand that thing. Uh -huh. This is what is happening. You are telling us that um, they went there, they exchanged bullets, and they rescued. Was it the only one there 
in the whole kidnapping. You did not tell us that there were other people that were also rescued or they don't pay ransom. You, because let's call it spade a spade. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Have you guys paid ransom? Because we heard the other time that his friends and family were putting things together to ensure he's released. Eh? And, but they were doing it secretly because they did not want you guys to be aware. Could it be the ransom that has been paid Then you guys came back? Because you know how to make statements that are untrue. And even if it's true, you know, your antecedents, uh, it makes us doubt you seriously. Because hardly do we find truth in the mouth of, you know, most of the security and politicians in this country. Look at FFK. Eh, friend for food. Look at FFK. Eh, fair weather friend. When the going is going is good. Then you see FFK. And he has the way we words. You see, God has blessed him with the gift of oratory. This man can speak English for fire. You know, he can talk, he can talk kettle black, he can talk white kettle to become black. That's him, that's FFK for you. You see, that's his gift. You know, everybody have their gift. So people have gift of, you know, a, a leadership. Sadly, we don't have them in the real leadership. So people have gift of administration. So people have gift of friendship. They know how to, they know how to build a place. As soon as they come to a place, the first thing they are doing is building the bridges, putting people together, bringing confidence back is the gift. So maybe as soon as they get into your company, they are, they are working with you, you will be surprised. It's like night and day, the transformation. You will be surprised. They come in, they just have it in them. They don't even know they have it in them. But as soon as they come, you'll be surprised that even the organogram of leadership, when this person talks, it's not forcing anybody, it's not uh, pushing anybody. It's just saying, I think everybody goes to that person unconsciously to say, so what do we do? What's the way forward? And the last you know, even the, the so-called leader, we find his or herself unknowingly succumbing to the person to say, they said that you are the one, so what do you think? You may seemingly say you are the one in charge, but, you know, the invisible organogram, that is the person that is truly and really in charge. So what are we talking about? This is the kind of things that goes on in this country. Leadership, no direction. You know, we have people, men and women, who have this gift, potentials in them, but sadly have not been given the opportunity or may not have even found themselves into the way called leadership. And so the country is bleeding as a result of the wrong persons being there. Imagine you take your cook to become mechanic. What will happen to your car? That is why the, the vehicle is not moving. The vehicle called Nigeria. You see, that is, that, is, that's the, that is the simplest example I can give. Anyway, leave us a comment. There is God. If we keep praying, things will change. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Do have a fantastic day. Bye for now.